in the middle of Kansas City, Missouri, where the tornado just went through only a couple hours ago. And I'm standing here with the debris behind me. Um, there's people everywhere. Just It's just chaos. Nobody knows what to do. Some people's houses are gone. It's just, it's just chaos. F5 tornado. What does that mean? Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, Angela. Um, the weather service told us that. I'm just a reporter. <laughs> here in Mammoth, Arizona, where several witnesses have claimed to have seen an unidentified flying object this year. It does appear that there's a windows uh, maneuvering behind you, which is quite interesting. So the aliens must be working off of Windows XP right now. Must be, absolutely. There was a sighting of possible um, ex, um, alien activity in the air. And they looked out the window and saw a triangular object floating around in the sky. It flipped over, shot beams up toward the sky, flipped back over, and sped away. It was a huge gray looking disc with lights flashing on the bottom that was just hovering over them and beaming its lights down at them large circular object rotating in the sky. Eyewitnesses on the scene said they saw flashing lights and that the flying aircraft was going in a figure eight circle. People are very scared because the nature of the disease is unknown and the quarantine has been scaring them because it is considered to be a dangerous disease. However, no true facts have come out. And the quarantine would actually mean that everybody is not infected at this time. Isolation means that people would actually be infected. So, what happens if somebody gets out? Uh, panic. Angela, panic. Yeah. There are two children confirmed dead, and the driver of all those was in critical condition. Have the parents been notified? At this time, the children are of <laughs> the parents of the children have been notified. Just witnessed a car wreck involving a school bus and a Volvo. Two kids are in critical condition, and the driver is injured. So you actually witnessed this this car wreck? Yes, I did because I was driving to work, and I'm a reporter also. That is great, Heather. So oh you are just spontaneous I out there on the scene. Yes. Getting the getting backpack the reporters. I just yes. had myself in my backpack. Well, we were wondering why you hadn't shown up for work yet. Angela, um, according to eyewitnesses, it is believed that the driver choked on a ham sandwich, causing him to run the red light and crash into the Volvo. Talk to Kelly Kapowski. When I wake up in the morning, Hospital for minor injuries, but she was actually able to help out a lot of the other students in getting them off the bus safely.